Tuesday and I'm gonna get started because I have a few things to show you that I've worked on since last week and um, one work in progress that I'm almost done with that I started on this morning um, but I'm gonna get my notes out real quick and okay I'm gonna start out with um, going over the revamp um, I love all the ideas that everybody's had for the channel and I love the question and answer videos the ones that um, like the the ones that are already done like the knitting questions and you know like when did you first start knitting and answering the, like those the pre-done um, I like that I like that idea and I think Kayla had that one so I like that um, and I love the tutorials um, I love that idea of doing that um, so I'm all for that and um, I also love the swap idea um, and I, th I think if we do that I think that <coughs> excuse me I think that um, it would be really cool if we did like a fall and a spring swap um, it might be a little bit more work but I would be willing to help out with that like do be like be in charge of one or the other or you know something like that we could like work all that out but you know I don't know how all that works but you know we could work all that out um but also um maybe we could get like a, a blah, 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 I can't talk maybe we could get a Ravelry page going or and or a Facebook page going to get more um subscribers or to get more people to know about the YouTube channel um that kind of thing and um to get more people posting uh what they're doing um maybe people are too shy to um to post um responses to our videos video responses or um you know any kind of responses but maybe on facebook they would respond more to you know maybe respond by posting pictures of what they've done or things like that i don't know um it's just a thought i don't know um but now to videos those are just some thoughts i've had but anyway um jenny the scarf is amazing um and i wouldn't really worry about the color variation too much because some some um yarns do that anyway and because you sewed it in to make a um an infinity scarf um it just looks like it could be that way anyway so i wouldn't really worry about it too much because yeah it, you could just say the yarn came that way <laughs> so yeah um and the donut is extremely extremely cute and um you have been really super busy to get that blanket done and the donut and you got the scarf done and you got um the skirt made that's just super busy so um so yeah a lot done um and kayla i cannot wait to see your newest luna costume um i hope that you've gotten at least a little bit done for us to be able to see a little bit of it this week um if not that's fine i mean you work so you know you may not have a whole lot done on it so but i can't wait to see what you've gotten done on it um i always love seeing your costumes because you're so so super creative in that area i am not creative in that area at all i have to get other people to do that for me and then i go oh yay it's pretty <laughs> and then i wear it um so yeah um but miera um i try not to start anything after dinner time um because that's usually our family time so uh, if I do work on anything it has to be a project that it's already been started and it has to be something mindless so I can pay attention to what's going on um, so it has to be something that it's just like knit 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 or um, knit pearl knit pearl knit pearl or you know just simple super crochet or something um, but yeah I try not to start a new project uh, it has to be something I'm already working on and it has to be something that I don't have to really look at a pattern for um, So yeah, I try not to start anything like that either um, And I have a little mini tripod as well that I use um, Occasionally um, and I love it. We got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So yeah um, So enjoy using that and your painting was really neat um, That's not a talent that I was born with 
painting. Um, my husband paints a, a little bit. He's a graphic artist, graphic designer, um, and my youngest son got the gift of drawing, and uh, uh, he probably got the gift of painting too. We just haven't really put a brush in his hand yet. So, but if he can, if he could paint as well as he draws, he's probably got that gift as well. So, um, it's a really good gift to have. Um, and Michael. I hate having to rip stuff out. I know we all do. Um, and I have never done intarsia. Um, I'm kind of scared to try it. Um, I know one of these days I probably will break down and try it. Um, but and I but I hate having to seam things up as well. Um, it it's kind of tedious. Um, so I wish you luck with that. Um, and I can't wait to see the end result. I hope it turns out well. All your stuff turns out well, so I can't wait to see it. Um, but it's, it does sound a lot easier than what you're doing, so yeah. Um, and my the websites, I really had to think on this because I really don't go to a lot of different websites. Um, I usually typically stay with like YouTube and Ravelry um, the Weather Channel, uh, Facebook, um, you know, my work website. I mean, there's really not a lot of different websites that I go to, so I really had to think on this one hard. Um, but Spotify, um, I go there a lot. Um, that's what I have as my, um, music channel that I listen to. Um, because you can add a lot of music and you can make your own music channels. Um, I do that instead of like Pandora. Um, so Spotify is a really good channel and you can share your music with friends and things like that. So that's kind of like what you were talking about, the 8-track, Jenny. Um, so Spotify is really good. And Birchbox.com um, is another one. Um, it is a makeup site and you can order... Um, you can order a box for ten dollars a month um and you get samples every month and um they also have beauty videos and things like that and you can also order the makeup off of their website and things like that and it's just really neat and they have a youtube channel as well and it's just really neat and i really like it and i've learned a lot from them and also found a lot of beauty gurus through that channel um, so, um, Miss Glamorazzi or Ingrid, um, I know you guys, um, I know Jenny and Kayla watch Luke Connard, um, his girlfriend Ingrid, um, she got me hooked on, on Birchbox, so <laughs> that's where I heard of, of Birchbox. So anyway, now on to my projects. This is my work in progress. I don't normally like this yarn. Um, but I've got a show coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend, and this yarn was on sale for $2.50 a skein, and so I broke down and I bought a couple skeins of it and went ahead and, I, and um, and I'm making a couple of these scarves, because they're, they're not really, like, quick, quick, but they're quick. They take about three or four hours to make, um, and they're mindless scarves. Um, and it's like one skein makes a scarf. Um, and I'm almost done. This is wrapped around a little, little small ball of yarn. Because these come in like a hank. I don't know if any of you have ever bought any of these. This is the Ribbons yarn. The Red Heart Ribbons. And, um, it's really pretty yarn. But the only reason, it's not that I don't like the yarn. It's that I, I tend to like yarn, like projects that I can sell to my customers that can be thrown in the washing machine because I'm a mom and I don't like things that I have to hand wash um, because that's just not the type of person that I am. I don't like to hand wash things. <laughs> I just don't have the time. Um, so anyway, um, that's it's. I think they're pretty scarves and I like them. I just don't like the fact that they have to be hand washed. Um, so anyway, um, I've made, this one I'm almost done with. It'll pro I've probably got about another 30 to 45 minutes left on this one. So, yeah, I've got this one. And these, 
I've made. This is a new pattern now, and I'll put all the patterns on Ravelry down here in the little box. But I've got this one. This is the uh, twist and that's the ribbons one. I can't remember. I'll put the link to the yarn down here too. It's it's the Bernat twists and turns or twists and something. I can't remember what it is, but I'll put it down there. But it's really pretty. Um, but this is a new pattern. It's just it's just like a really long rope and really long chain, and you just keep looping it around your neck. So I mean, you can just keep you can keep looping it if you want it a little bit shorter, a little bit more close to your neck. But it's just the new trend in spring scarves. So I have it in this color, and I have it in this color, like grays and whites and black. So I'll probably go back and get a couple more colors in that. And I have, um, this one is finished. This is in teal, um, in the ribbons, the Red Heart ribbons. So that's how it would look on, like that. And I also have this little hat right here. This would be for like a little preteen, maybe a 13, 14 year old, maybe a little bit younger. And it's got a little rosette on our rose on it right here. And I've got, I've not woven in the ends on this one. Um, I did this one in a solid color. The next two are in solid colors. Um, and I'm gonna make little flowers for these as well. Um, same pattern. I just didn't put two colors. Um, and then this one is in a lighter blue. And that's all I got done this week. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to have that one finished here in the next hour. And that is it. And I hope to hope you guys have a great day. And I will see Kayla tomorrow. Bye.